Hi, and welcome to another CEF Tech Talking Podcast. You've got me again, Darren Staniforth, looking after you for 15, 20 minutes, and not on my own, I've got the aid of Dave here as well. We've got Dave here as well, but we've got Double Darren Show oh, today. here we go. Yeah, double I like Darren yeah, we're, Show. You're outnumbered yeah. now, mate. Yeah. Two of us here, look. <laughs> Hello, mate, this is Darren North. Darren, what do you do and who do you do it with? Um, my name's Darren North. I'm the National Sales Manager for Rolex Services. So, right, Rolex, tell us a little, because Rolex have been coming around on the Tech Talks with us. They've been working with CEF for quite a while, actually, haven't they? Yeah. But Rolex have been around for years, haven't they? And used to do marinas, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we started 32 years ago as a company, manufacturing product. Uh, started in the caravan industry. That led on to the marina right. background. We're now global leaders in the marina industry. And EV charging, we got involved in about 12, 13 years ago. Well, 12, 13 years ago, EV charging. Oh, that, that was, <laughs> you were adventurous, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, it yeah. wasn't around much <laughs> then. Yeah, you were yeah. The pretty early. Now, at that point there, you could pretty much, it was just a normal standard plug and socket arrangement, yeah. wasn't it, 16 years ago? But now it's come on so much, hasn't it? Oh, things have changed. How, how do you keep up with it then? Have you got a team of people back at, well, yeah. in Boston, is it? Yes. Yeah, you so must have a team of people there. So we have a, a new R&D team there that specialise in, Obviously, the new regulation changes, et cetera, making sure that we're compliant and moving forward with the times and people's requirements, really. Now, you're a manufacturer, but you also do a hell of a lot for the customer service side of things, don't you? So, yeah. so people are constantly contacting you up at Boston to find out how you do it, how you do it. And you, you offer training, do you not? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we offer webinar training for contractors to, to more. I think one of the biggest things we've got out of these tech talks, to be fair, with uh, liaising with the contractors, is more about the knowledge of how the chargers work. It's OK, then knowing how to install it. Yeah. But when the end user says to them, right, OK, show me how it works, they haven't got a clue. <laughs> so it's it's more of offering that webinar training to so they're fully understanding of what they are fitting so and how it works. We mean you, Dave, we talk about section 722 and how you install it as Dave, Darren's just pointed out but I imagine getting your head around because your, is yours an application an it app is, that yeah. sorts these out yeah that's, it is on the new units yeah. that's the big bit getting your head around that is it not yeah and you're incorporating more and more we, we talk about some of the problems with lost PME and how they mitigate that and uh, uh, DC components and things like that yeah you you've really covered all those bases haven't you we so have now store, yes. it's not really a major issue yeah we have now I mean on the new unit obviously everything's on there built in it's, it's basically supposed to be uh, user friendly for the installer to be fair covering all angles of the regulations and that that's needed nowadays but in the early days it was an earth rod and uh, you know obviously that's not a <laughs> A great solution no, for no. Um, for putting <laughs> in. But we were talking today, weren't we? We've had we've, we've had an amazing day here in Reading, where we're doing the Tech Talk the podcast from, and uh, and we've had about 150 people, and they were all asking about earth electrodes and the dangers of whacking earth electrodes yeah. in. We know it's not a great solution, so the fact that you've incorporated something in here is absolutely superb, isn't yeah, it? You don't it have to worry about it, really. You don't yeah. have to worry about it. And this, so this is your new one. So for yeah. those that, that can see us, who are looking for this on, on YouTube, on our channel, this is the new bit of kit. So this new bit of kit, if you want to have a look at this, also it's going to be available via CEF. You have a look at that one online. New. What's new? big and new about it, mate? What, what's uh, it called? What's his model? The, so the, the new unit, I'll just take it off you there, Darren. <laughs> it's, um, Before I drop it. This, this is called the Zura. Zero. And Zero. Um, it's it's our latest product, which is launched at the end of July, which will be available through City Electrical Factors. Um, but one of the things we've tried to incorporate with this is trying to make it more and more domestic properties now. There's more than one member of family having an electric vehicle. You're, you're absolutely right. We are seeing that. So a lot of people where they probably had one EV charger put in, mm. that's not enough anymore, unless no. you're going to get up in the middle of the night and swap your leads around. Exactly. <laughs> so we've now created one where it's got two sockets, or oh. two tethered leads, so still one supply coming into the unit. It dynamically load balances under the new regulations. We need oh, dynamic load oh, balancing anyway. So it will fluctuate. So you plug one vehicle in, 32 amp charging, yeah. plug another one in, it'll go to 16. If you've got it CT to the property and everything, you will obviously, you can downgrade the charging. That's the current transformer, so see? actually yeah. it's dynamically uh, changing see, with the property. Me and yeah. you've been yeah. talking about this. It's yeah, all coming together. Yeah, it's yeah. almost like we knew it Is that becoming all? standard practice now? To, it, to, it will to be, yes. Yeah. yeah, so on, on ours now, we've got the CTs on there to obviously communicate with solar, storage and wind turbine. So basically wow. uh, renewables. And yeah. I know obviously um, CF are looking at the renewable we section. Yes, we are. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, this is something that we've tried to, when we created the new model, 
it's more about what's going to be the future as well. So You're future-proofing that, really, aren't yes. you? That's what you're doing. Because yeah. so this one's it's still great. to hit the market, isn't it? It's, it is. It's coming out July. Yeah, so end of July it comes yeah. out. Yeah, pricing and everything will go out this week. But we've already, from the tech talks, the, the inquiries we're getting at the moment, saying, have you got your pricing yet? Can we order it? Can we do this? Because the, the contractors have loved it. Hmm. So uh, TikToks have worked for you then, mate? Yeah, definitely, they? yeah. Been <laughs> very six. I've, I've managed to do them all so far. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I think there's only me, you and probably Finn that are doing all of them. Yeah. Dave's getting a week off soon. Can yeah, you believe I'm not that? doing yeah. Scotland. Can you believe no. that? Yeah, 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 no. I'm bit. looking forward to Scotland. Yeah, That'll be all right. So. Now, now, this bit of kit here, Dave, did you know you I mean... They're not called sexy, are they, EV charges? They're generally not thought of as sexy, <laughs> although I have to say that one, as it sits, is quite sexy. Well, did you know this? But, I found out yeah. that front plate there, you can change and yeah. make whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I did, I did hear that. You've got some examples I understand you've ordered one with your face on it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Could you imagine that car box full of this mug? <laughs> so so, so yeah. we've we got examples that you can go onto our website at rolex.serve and, and basically have a look at... Uh, are the features that we offer but basically if you can see on the camera there yeah. it is a detachable fascia oh. so you oh. can take this one's a carbon oh, front so what what you would do is if you've if you're at a property or you're a property developer or anything really where you've got a rendered wall or anything yeah. like that you can take a photo transfer the image onto the front and it then, literally camouflages it and it, and it comes That's it comes want, with that it? coloring so some people we've got the the imagery there where it's got a little girl and a dog and everything yeah. and some people but when we did the launch at fully charged in for 140,000 people it was pretty well well received that uh, they love the idea of the concept. A lot of people's house numbers. Yeah, I was going to do all that. sorts with. Yeah, that. I was going to just. Now I know that some people, if you because if you're fitting this domestically or you're going into commercial, you could put car parking for unit two could, only or something yeah, like that, yeah. there, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Or or a hotel reception this way, you could yeah. put different logos for companies. I just think that's branding. Some, that's something that you really thought of there. You I mean. Yeah. As well as what's in it, it's what's on it. Yeah. It's a good thing Does as well. Does that, that feature come as part of the package when you buy it? Yeah, so a contractor would just buy the unit from, from the wholesaler and and basically it comes with a black cover. We do a white or a grey as well in the front fascia. So that would, you know, obviously order that if you wanted a white or a grey one. Mm. Yeah. And then it would be down to the end user to go online and be able to uplift their photos and arrange and do it a bit. And you're thinking like branding for events. I if they had charge points in the car park, yeah. you could brand them up for one particular event, couldn't you? Yeah. Or I, we, we, I we specialise in branding anyway. We've done numerous projects with branding. This is just another. And another, pe yeah. people will be selling advertising as well. Yeah. And, and again, the co yeah. contractors have loved it. It's yeah. really great. As soon as you undo that, they go, oh, yeah, I can see it. Because a lot of refurbs on properties now are all this uh, like plastic cladding that goes on the side that loads, in, yeah. in greys and blues yeah, and yeah. different things it's like that. So, now, it? so it's something that you can literally just upload. You can get the grain of the patterns and everything so it blends in. That is brilliant. I mean, for for me, it's not just again about what it looks like, but inside as well. But you guys have got what, it all covered. What you've sorted, you've sorted the charging element. So you know you're looking for the value add, aren't you? Yeah. Because I mean, it does everything that you need. It to we do. was probably one of the first to market with EV. Uh, started. I started with the company 14 years ago and uh, uh, developing it with the wholesalers. And you know, we was perceived to be the market leader. Mm. And obviously, with the pen and earth rods yeah. and everything we took mm. a little bit of a back step we like to think that we've probably come to the to the front of the market again with this unit oh this is yeah taking you on leaps and, and, bounds, and all the all the components everything that go inside this unit will be in our commercial range as well yeah. so again dynamic load balancing so the application talk to me about the application is it's onto anyone's smartphone or tablet yep. is that right yeah and then, yeah download and then that will talk to that and what what can you do with it what sort of features has it got well interact with solar Obviously, the battery storage, operating, setting, scheduled charging. Ah, oh, right, scheduled and, charging. Yeah, that so that's becoming one of the more things. I mean, I, I'm, excuse my ignorance on battery storage. I'm not too au fait with it. But I understand, like, you know... There's a tech uh, talk you could have gone yeah, through. Yeah, yeah. You should have the first session, <laughs> yeah. actually. But, you know, when they're talking about, you know, you can... You can transfer electricity to your yeah, battery yeah. storage at a certain kilowatt, yeah. then you can interact it with the charge. And can you allocate a certain amount of the battery to go back into a PI or into the house? So if you charged it fully, you could then say, I want 50% to be available to the house. Could you from do what? Charging from through the, the, from the yeah. vehicle? So if, you charge, yeah. if you charge from the PV, for instance, yeah. you've got the battery fully charged, but you weren't driving tomorrow. Yeah. So you thought, well, I'll use some of that in the installation. Could you allocate half yeah, the battery? Yeah, not back? at the moment. Oh, but that's the way you go you're, forward. So you're all about vehicle to grid. Yeah. Vehicle to grid and actually and saying, you know, the car's going to be there. I need a bit of capacity, but not much. So I'll give some of that battery back into yeah. the PEI. Yeah. I, think, I don't think uh, out of all the money 
manufacturers and there's quite a few of us out there at the moment. I don't think there's anybody that's got that. But I, bet, I bet it'll get there. Oh, it, will, it, will, it, will, it will have to go there. I think one of the biggest concerns is, is basically getting it all monitored at the moment. Just so have we got the capability being able to charge all these electric vehicles <laughs> and the infrastructure? I drive electric vehicle, obviously, but uh, they, you know, the infrastructure is still very minimal. Mm. I was going to ask yeah, this. So. I've been to your office a couple of times, and there's always yep. a nice fleet of electric vehicles that are out there. Yeah. But you work with all the manufacturers, don't you? And you're yep. well known for that. So to make sure that it does actually work with mm. all those different types yeah. of cars. So, that are so out we, there. we take one of the latest models that come in, that come to our office. We test them for a week. We use them, compatible with our charging points. And if they're not, then we'll adapt to why they're not, and yeah. and work with the manufacturer as well. So yeah. So you, you've got those links with those yep. manufacturers to ensure that this this yes. is compliant. Yep. But you are discovering that the charging infrastructure is adequate. Is that what you're discovering? Yeah, as, as an EV driver, so take me away from being a, uh, a reseller of, of EV charging points and manufacturing of the units. Yeah, the infrastructure I've, I've found <laughs> slightly... Do you know where he lives? He's in the middle of nowhere. He lives out in Boston. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're from Boston, Lincolnshire. Yeah. <laughs> and, and there's no EV around there at all. No, no so <laughs> well, we, we've I'm been... out of battery before we get anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that we are mentioning, but that's one of the big blocks... On, yeah. on the really big yeah. uptake because people are nervous. They've, yeah. got, they've got a concern about it. We know for well yeah. that it's got to be ramped up by the 2020, 2030, they're telling us, aren't mm. they? Yeah. So mm. you're, you're going to be so full of So we're, we're very busy with this. We've also, uh, which we, I think the tech talks will be finished before the announcement of it, but we've now got a new range of. Uh, Hopefully, the um, DC rapid charges as well. Oh, which, oh have you? Wow, right. Well, we'll be pick very it up again in the autumn. So yeah, so it'll be very, very yeah. competitive to the market and hopefully yeah. encourage people. To install them, yeah, you want um, them. because at the moment I think the cost is, you know, as soon as somebody has to put a rapid charger in, they're quite costly. Mm. Yeah. So I think that puts some people off. So uh, if you get more cost-effective unit, that's then what that, you're going for. I think I think that's where the market will go. So as well. you you do this, but you don't just do domestic chargers, as you said there. DC rapid, that's for more commercial, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so you do yeah. that as well. Oh, we do. Yeah, I, I would say. You, 65 percent of our business is commercial wow yeah well, so, so you know we've no, got no. large projects that's, yeah. uh, that's ongoing at the moment. there's a change in the building regs that take place in june which is starting to really put the <laughs> the pressure on to install in all new builds yep. in all refurbs one in five, yeah, one in five. Yeah. so that's yeah. got to see a huge ramp up in for you yeah it is yeah and everybody you know mm. um, we'd like to think it would all come to roll it but uh, you know <laughs> we're in a realistic world here and it's down to the uh, the end user's choice really but you just got to be producing great bits of kit haven't you yeah the way to hold the and, and the back office that we offer, Vend Electric, is it, we find that when we've done a presentation to customers and they've seen the back office, mm. they go with Rolex mm. because it's it's easy to use, it's simple, it's very informative, it reports everything they need, but it's more about them having full control, who, which staff members using it. Because you know, one of the biggest things, energy costs are going up through yeah. the roof. They can't be giving it away. No, no. You know, so it's more about the reporting side of things. And we find that ours is, is we own Vend Electric. It's not sourced out by a third party, which a lot are yeah. used to be. But we we acquired yeah. Vend Electric, and uh, again, it's um, it's a great platform. So. As well as being a manufacturer, you've got that support network as well. So any of the contracts that are listening to this or watching via the YouTube channel, if they want to find out more, yep. if they go into your website, has it got stuff on there for them to look at? It has, yeah. We're going to be adding more. So we had a new website not too long ago. So we are adding features. We have a we have a Google Drive as well. So as data sheets come on, you can go on there, you can download all download. the latest data sheets and all the information. We will be doing videos on install as the new products come out. So we'll be working with companies to uh, to put that out there. Mm. So I mean, we'll just wrap it up. I think what we found out today is without a doubt, I've learned a lot more listening to this, listening to you. <laughs> yeah, I thought you only done a little bit. But yeah, no, it, it, no. I mean, we know full well that you've been out for an awful long while and you'll be around for an awful long while to come. Um, we really do appreciate you taking the time. We really also appreciate you coming and supporting Tech Talks. Yeah. The amount of people that come and said to us, we don't need to know about EV, and then we get our talk done, and then all of a sudden they come running to you in the break. Just goes to show EV is here to stay. As soon as they finish the first session, we know it's normally busy anyway. <laughs> but, but as soon as the first session finishes, it's literally everybody's queued up at the desk. Where yeah. I could be with five people with me yeah. and having to. Yeah, guilty, I'm afraid. We tell them to do that. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, we really do appreciate your time yeah. and sticking around afterwards to at this second. Can, can I just say one one thing? I'm sorry to butt in here. No, no, you go. Obviously, for it, one of the feedbacks I've been getting from a lot of 
contractors over these tech tools is that they used to use Rollit. A bit about our customer service, and I'd like to just put it out there that obviously we've grown since I've been with the company. We've grown from 33 people to 165, <laughs> and we're growing. So we we envisage within the next year we'll be to 300 wow. members of staff, and obviously we've got had growing pains with that over the oh, time. We, mm. yeah. So the call mm. centre and everything, the feedback I'm getting from the contractors is where they are a lot better, oh, a lot more good. informative and everything. So for those that's out there or listening who's had issues before, yeah. you know, we have yeah. tried to... It's good work. We, yeah. we, we've yeah. tried, we, we're not saying we haven't. You have to listen now, but we have, you uh, have to listen to We've all taken it on board. And, and you have to yeah. do it. That's One great. thing I, I think I will uh, just mention before we do stop, did you know that they can start making them all over here now? So you've got a place yeah, up so in... Yes, yeah, so we're a UK manufacturer, yeah. and I know uh, everything, but we... Um, uh, our, do, yeah, you? our um, printed circuit boards and everything manufactured UK, yeah. our moulding, everything's done in the UK. Has is that, is that been driven by what's happened globally, or is it what's it, it has, the it's something that we've always wanted to go down the road yeah. of, and I'm, I'm not going to criticise people who import products like that, but it, right. at the end of the day, it, it's out there. We're not going to, by doing it in, as a UK manufacturer, obviously we have people to pay, not just minimum wage. Yeah. We have to make yeah. sure they're looked after and, and it comes at a cost. So the charging points are not going to be the most no, competitive, no. but they are but going if to that do matters what they need. But if that matters to you as a buying ethic, then you'll do it. And, and Exactly, and yeah. that's where we are. So we're trying to keep everything UK. Yeah, Grand, well done. Free nice that. Well, thank you very much for your Love time. Thank and you. thank you, everyone, for listening to another CEF Tech Talking podcast. We'll see you soon.